suspected vehicle. Um, right now, we do know Plano bomb squads are surrounding that vehicle in the Curtis Cobalt parking lot. And they're not, at this point, investigators and police aren't sure what could be in that car, whether an incendiary device, possibly some sort of explosive. So they have basically evacuated all nearby businesses as a safety precaution. Yeah, I've also read uh, some reports about backpacks being left behind, possibly by these suspects. What do you know about that? You know, we don't, we still are trying to learn those details at this moment. Okay. All right, Zahid, well, thank you very much as well um, for staying on top of this. And I know you are waiting to get another update uh, from Garland Police. But as you mentioned, we have two suspects that were shot and killed and also a Garland ISD uh, officer who uh, has been shot and transported to the hospital. Uh, fortunately, though, we are hearing non-life-threatening injuries. Zahid did tweet earlier, too, and I don't know if he's still on the phone with us, that uh, Garland police have refused to say whether or not this was involving somehow this art exhibit. I know it happened outside the art exhibit. Uh, if you're still with us, Zahid, they have just said uh, one way or the other, not yeah, involved or involved. They don't know. What's, what's the deal on that? Well, Rich, they aren't willing to make that connection just yet. We do know that New York-based American Freedom Defensive Initiative hosted the event, awarding about $10,000 for the best cartoon depicting, depicting Prophet Muhammad at the venue. Some consider that offensive, something that's considered offensive by many Muslims. Keep in mind, in January, at a French newspaper that published a similar cartoon, it was attacked, leading to the death of 12 people. And I did speak to the event organizer, Pamela Geller. She told me that the organization spent about $10,000 on security, everything from metal detectors, extra police force. Um, even to get into the event myself, we had to go through a metal detectors, be wanted by officers. So security was extremely tight. And as this event was winding down, those metal detectors were coming down, but obviously, that would have applied to this situation where these men just kind of drove up in a car and, and took that action. Stay with us, Sahid. I think we have some more on Pamela Geller. I think we have her Twitter page that we could put up because she has been putting out information on this. Again, Pamela Geller is with the American Freedom Defense Initiative organizing this Draw the Profit event. Uh, she's been called the, the most visible and flamboyant uh, anti-Muslim figurehead in America. She uh, wrote something on her webpage earlier tonight. Uh, this is war, she writes. This is war on free speech. What are we going to do? Are we going to surrender to these monsters? Two men with rifles and backpacks attack police outside our event. One cop was shot. His injuries are not life-threatening. Thank God. Please keeping in your prayers. The bomb squad, again, this is uh, Pamela Geller writing on her website. The bomb squad has been called to the event to investigate a backpack left at the event site. The war is here, she concludes. And, th and there's her Twitter page. Yeah, we've got a lot of the information, or some of it anyway, that, that's been coming out, has been coming from uh, Pamela Geller and some other websites that she is linked to. Um, and I've noticed that there has been, there have been some details that I've seen in this feed and in other places that I haven't seen in other places, so not sure if they're able to get uh, maybe some information there at the event that, uh, that, that the police aren't releasing to, to our reporters on the ground. But as Rich mentioned, uh, she has called this a free speech uh, event. She writes uh, very uh, prolifically um, about Islamic extremism.